Our next step with our database is we need to set the primary key field. The primary key field of a table serves two important purposes. First, it contains data that uniquely identifies each record. No two records can have the exact same entry in the field designated as the primary key field. Second, the primary key field helps relate one table to another in a one-to-many relationship where one record, record from one table may be related to many records in the comments table of the example we have. So the first step we're going to do is I'm going to right click on the comments table over here in the navigation pane. From here I'm going to select primary key button I mean sorry about that, design view. Now I'm going to click the comment ID field and right now mine's already selected. Then I'm going to click the primary key button in the tools group on the design tab. Here I am in the design tab and here is primary key so I'll click primary key. You'll notice that it's indicated as the primary key now because it has the key on it. Now I'm going to right click on the comments tab and I'm going to select close and then yes to save the changes. Now I'm going to right click on the customers table in the navigation pane and I'm going to select design view. I'm going to right click the customer table tab and close it. Both of our tables now have primary keys. I'm closing this table and since I made no changes it did not ask me to save any changes. After we've created our tables and we've set primary key fields in all of our tables, we need to connect the tables in a one-to-many relationship to be able to enjoy the benefits of a relational database. A one-to-many relationship between two tables means that one record from the first table is related to many records in the second table. And you use a common field to make this connection. So what we're going to do first is with our database still open, we're going to select the Database Tools tab on our ribbon. From here, we're going to select Relationship so that we can create our relationships. You'll notice that the Show Table dialog box comes up and this is where we're going to select our tables that we want to see. If the Show Table dialog box doesn't appear, just click the Show Table button on the Design tab. You'll see it up here at the top. So I'm going to double click on Customers and it's added my database fields here. Then I'm going to double click on Comments. It also adds it and then I'm going to close the Show Table. These are the two tables that I need to have a relationship between. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to drag the customer ID in the customers field list to the customer ID field in the comments field list. That way they're connected. So I'm going to click here on customer ID and drag it to customer ID in the comments field. Next I'm going to click the info Force ref Referential Integrity and then I'm going to click Create and you'll notice that it has connected the two fields in the two separate tables. Next we're going to right click the Relationship tab and then click Close. So right click my Relationship tab, I'll click Close. Once again it's going to ask me if I want to save it. I'll say yes. Now I'm going to double click my customers table in the navigation pane and you'll notice that we now have this plus showing up. I can click the plus sign and it's linked to the other table. I can click the minus sign and it collapses my view. You're capable of adding additional comments once you've expanded each customer's name 
and you see the customer comment information, you can add it straight from here and it does add it to the comments table. Once you're done, all we have to do here is close the customer tab and it may or may not ask you to save it.